Okay, so what I have in my hand here is Skittles blenders. You know, judging from the colors, it's, you know, a lot of soft pastels, blue, pink, red. I really think it's trying to capitalize on the emerging sea punk sort of thing. I'm gonna try the Melonberry Burst. It's not without its charm, um, you know, but let's try it. Let, my, my question is, how does it differentiate itself from the Strawberry Line Blast? And, these things are delicious. Let's let, let's put that first and foremost. You know, it's good to just kind of like remind yourself of like what really stokes your interest from a sheer visceral level. But at the end of the day, sometimes it just feels like if you've eaten one Skittles blender, you've eaten them all. I would say right now, if I would have to give it a score, you know, it's in the 7.8 range where right now it needs to develop on, you know, it needs to develop its own sort of idiosyncrasies. I can't really say that it, it's really setting up a uh, vanguard. Right now we're looking at Tropical Dots. Now, Dots has been, it's been a real uh, steadfast sort of thing in the, in the gummy game. This and Mike and Ike's, I mean, these are the real legends of that sort of thing. So with Tropical, once again, you wanna, you wanna ask yourself, is it really compromising its ideals in order to keep up with modern times? This has sort of like a Swedish fish sort of vibe going on. It's a little bit derivative of that. And I like how it's incorporating, you know, international flavor into its all-American sort of guy. So I would say that this is a, um, it's kind of a real stunning rebranding and turnaround of the dots. So I would definitely love to see where they're going. Perhaps they're looking to go with more Arctic dots in the future, you know, uh, desert dots. Whatever it is, I think dots are really proving themselves to be very versatile and adaptable to modern trends. So, 8.2 for these. All right, now, right now we're looking at corn nuts, the ultimate crunch. Now, I guess the thing is with corn nuts that it's similar to, you know, like, let's say Ween or Ariel Pink or Frank Zappa, where you really have to question just how seriously they're taking themselves. This really distinguished itself um, from the other kind of like harder snacks like Andy Capp's fries and so forth by, you know, kind of being more of an aggressive, uh, abrasive sort of thing. Like you eat these and you feel like your teeth might be breaking, which to some people is actually the draw of it. I don't know if it's a snack that really wants to love me back. So I'm gonna have to say this is more of a 5.7.